These days, games are often pushed to be bigger and longer, and horror games are no exception. Bigger maps, more content, and plenty of other methods help keep players' attention. This can distract the gaming community from the wealth of smaller games that lie just below the surface. Some of the best games out there can be completed during a lunch break instead of over the course of a month. Horror games especially adhere well to this idea, as a short time frame allows the scares to stay fresh and suspenseful without overstaying their welcome. Some have even been lauded by the greater horror community as fantastic examples of the genre. Many brilliant horror games are short, simple experiences that deserve to be seen by the public at large. Hey there everyone, welcome to Game Rant, Jeffrey here. In today's video, I'll be showcasing 10 spooky horror games that you can enjoy and finish easily in under an hour. Let's dive into the list. Number 10, The Closing Shift. The Closing Shift is a Japanese horror game that took the influencer world by storm, with many playthroughs emerging from popular content creators. It's part barista simulator and part stalker horror, making for an unassuming and chilling experience. It has a VHS-style aesthetic, which creates a jarring and unsettling environment, and the game doesn't actually appear to be a horror game until more sinister events begin to take place. Its creepy art and petrifying people are sure to spook any player as they discover the events unfolding. Number 9. Paratopic Paratopic is a first-person narrative-based video game that focuses heavily on narrative and atmosphere to frighten its players. It follows three separate people with different goals, and players must discover why their stories intersect in this surreal world. The low-poly game utilizes its art style and music to unsettle players and consistently keep them on edge. It skirts the territory of the uncanny and uses its dated appearance to make sure the experience is as uncomfortable and foreboding as possible. The game takes around an hour to complete, slightly under or over depending on the player. Number 8. Five Nights at Freddy's A good playthrough of the first Five Nights at Freddy's game will easily take players under an hour to complete. Unfortunately, the looming threat of the haunted animatronics makes this pretty challenging, and there's no guarantee that all gamers will be able to survive each night on their first try. These terrifying animatronics will come careening down hallways, clamoring through the vents and creeping towards the doors, all to put an end to the player. Players will need to keep their ears open and their eyes on the cameras at all times to ensure that they can get through all five nights unscathed. This, of course, is easier said than done, with the list of tasks that players need to perform getting harder and harder with each passing night. Number 7. Eerie The idea of exploring an abandoned research facility is certainly enough to suggest trouble. This is, of course, the case with Eerie, which is easily one of the most terrifying games on this entire list. Now, it's a relatively short experience as long as the player isn't caught by the monster over and over again. It's worth noting that this monster is relentless and absolutely spine-chilling, so gamers may have a hard time finishing the game on their first try. Number 6. Iron Lung Iron Lung is a popular cult hit indie game that places players in the role of a convict exploring a submarine that submerged in a sea of blood. It was developed by David Szymanski, who is already well-known thanks to his other indie title, Dusk. Iron Lung toys with the fear of the unknown, and the abject horror of being alone at the bottom of the sea. Submarines are already a terrifying concept, and Iron Lung does a phenomenal job of emphasizing the terror and dread of this scenario. Number 5. P.T. That which tries to mimic the familiar but just barely fails to do so, falls into the uncanny valley and deeply unsettles audiences. In this playable teaser, P.T., that familiar environment is a hallway in a suburban home. By all means, the hallway is completely normal, at least at first. The player must traverse it over and over and over again, while the environment becomes more and more unsettling each time. The world descends further into chaos until the player is racing through an endless iteration of the hallway, frantically running from a force they don't understand. The only downside is that this game was cancelled and taken off stores, or digital stores in that case, before it could become the next game in the actual Silent Hill franchise. PT, for those of you that actually managed to play it, can take an hour or so to complete, but those who wish to enjoy the experience at their own pace and likely to spend at least a little bit longer in the game. But again, this is a hard one to find, you have to have a PS4 that manages to have the game still installed. Number 4. Faith Chapter 1 Each chapter in Faith will clock in at under an hour, so players might as well start somewhere. The player will take on the role of a priest, returning to the site of a failed exorcism to complete the ritual and lay the spirits there to rest. 
The game takes place entirely within an 8-bit setting, similar to old rare Atari games. Players will need to use all of the things at their disposal in order to deal with every evil spirit that comes their way. Its more unsettling moments come from scenes where the authentically janky animations are replaced with realistic footage rotoscoped into the 8-bit art style, leaving a truly unexpected impression. Number 3. Murder House This game recreates the style of 80s slasher movies and puts it into the body of a PS1 survival horror game. The player will assume the role of a timid intern at a news station. They, and a small group, enter the vacant home of a long-dead serial killer who is dressed as an Easter Bunny. Soon enough, players will find themselves on the run from the killer, doing their best to avoid his wrath while collecting Easter eggs so that they may leave the house. Murder House weaves an impeccable atmosphere that will have players on edge all throughout the experience. It can be completed with an hour of gameplay or so, but new players may need around two hours to just get the entire experience. Number 2. We Went Back We Went Back is a sci-fi horror game set in an abandoned research facility on the moon. The player must try their best to find their way out of a time loop that has them trapped on the station with a skinless abomination. Much like an escape room, the player will have to explore their environment in order to find clues to riddles and puzzles. While it is lighter on the horror elements and focuses more heavily on problem solving, the game more than delivers on scares when they do occur. Those brave enough can complete this game in about 45 minutes or so. Number 1. The Caregiver Japanese horror games have their own distinct style of terror that does well to frighten anyone who dares face the horror they provide. The Caregiver boasts a beautifully detailed environment under an off-putting VHS filter that adds to its mystery. Gamers will play as the aforementioned Caregiver of an enfeebled old man. It is not long before the presence of a malicious entity makes itself known and starts to stalk the player. This game has a self-professed focus on psychological horror, which is sure to give players plenty of nightmares. Though it will take most players approximately two hours to complete The Caregiver, some may be able to finish it in just one hour. And there we have it everyone, 10 super spooky and frightening horror games that you can play through in just around an hour. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video from Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.